YouTube, Canadian Aviation 12 here for another video. This time I'll be showing you my 1 to 400 scale Vancouver Concourse E airport. So as you guys can see right now, it is still under construction. I still have to draw the outlines of it. And hopefully after that I can paint the board and it will be in completion and it will look better than this. So yeah. Um, but anyways, I'm very sorry for not uploading that much. Uh, once again, check out my Instagram. I post a lot more than here. So yeah. Um, anyways, we're going to get started with this airport update. I hope you guys enjoy, like, and subscribe, and enjoy the video. Starting off over there is a Air Canada Express CRJ900 in the new library. This just landed in from... Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and it'll be making a returning flight back out there in a couple of hours. And then the second Air Canada Express CRJ900 in the new library uh, is getting fueled up for a flight out to uh, Denver, Colorado. And then over here we have an American Airbus A319. Uh, this just landed in from Dallas, Fort Worth, and it'll be making a flight back out there in a couple hours as well. Then we have a Alaska Airlines uh, ERJ-175. Uh, this is getting its cargo loaded on for a flight out to Seattle today. And right beside it is an Air Canada uh, A321-200 in the Star Alliance library. This is also getting its cargo loaded on for a flight out to Toronto Pearson YYZ today. And taxiing to the runways in Air Canada Express Dash AQ-400 and this is going to be making a flight up to Kelowna today. And over here is where the um, leftover stands or something like that. I forgot what it's called. Um, anyways, uh, these aircraft over here, they are parked at YVR right now. Speaking as right now, because I remember when I did come there, um, there is an Air Canada 777-3 in the ER. It's all the way in the back. If I can focus it over there. Yeah, there you go. And there is a 777-200 dollar in the old library. The 787 here, it's not parked there, not right, not as of now. But I remember last time I did remember seeing one there. So I'm gonna try to make this side as realistic as possible for the airport update. So if you're if you are familiar with YVR, Vancouver International Airport in Canada, or uh, plane spotter, you will probably see this there. And right over here, we have an Air Canada Rouge 767-300ER. This is taxiing to the runway for a flight off to Cancun, Mexico. I do know that they don't operate the aircraft anymore for Rouge. Because Air Canada did retire all the 767s, remaining 767s from their fleet, which is pretty sad. But I just wanted to put the aircraft in because I do love this. I've, I can't even speak today. Sorry about that. Because uh, this aircraft is one of my favorite models in my collection. So, yeah. A little bit unrealistic change for the airport update, but I hope you guys don't mind it. And right over here, I have an Air Transat Airbus E321. I think it's a U ULR, which stands for Ultra Long Range. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a ULR or an LR, but anyways, this is getting its cleaners on board for its flight off to Montreal today. And right over here, um, beside the Air Transat A321 is a WestJet 737-800 in the old library without split scimitars. This is getting its passengers loaded on for a flight out to um, Edmonton today. And right beside the WestJet 737-800 is a WestJet 737-700 in the old library as well. This is also getting its passengers loaded on for flight out to Calgary today. And right beside the WestJet 737-700 is a Korean Air 787-9 in the 50 Years Beyond Excellence library. This is pushing back from its gate for a flight out to Seoul, Incheon, Korea today. Sorry about the shakiness, by the way, I'm holding this in midair, I guess you can say. So, yeah. And then over here, we have a rare Gemini Jets Air Canada 787-9 in the old library. This is getting its catering 
onto the aircraft for a flight off to Tokyo Narita, Japan. And the very last aircraft for the airport update is an Air Canada 787-9 in the new library by NG Models. This is getting its passengers and its last remaining kind of fuel loaded on for flight out to London Heathrow today. Hope you guys enjoyed this aircraft update. Um, I'll try uploading in the next couple of weeks because I will be, after this airport is complete, I'll be trying to build Winnipeg and uh, Saskatoon. So hopefully that will turn out great. Um, it all matters of this airport how long this will take because I will be kind of busy. See so, ya. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, subscribe, like the video, and see you guys in the next one. Bye.